Hello everyone and welcome to day 28 of Vita. My name of course is Artemidge. Last three days. So today I'm going to touch a bit further on my own mental health experiences. Now this isn't anything too in depth or that I imagine would be traumatic or triggering in any way shape or form. This is just what I've noted in trying to reach out to others about my own mental health issues. If you talk to anyone who's close to me, they will tell you how I don't tend to open up when I'm experiencing problems. And that's true, because uh, as this webcomic here that I came across the other day shows, you often don't really get any results. Now my own personal experience with it hasn't necessarily been this kind of dismissal. Uh, it's been met with a variety of things, so this comic is accurate but it's not the exclusive circumstance. Now, indeed, I have gotten responses such as I am focusing on something too much, like this comic here. I have gotten responses where it becomes a matter of, well, here's how your difficulty with, my, with your issues causes me difficulty with my issues. Very helpful. I once uh, called a girlfriend at the time because I was really having a struggling moment and she out and out asked if I was okay and when I said not really her response was okay I'm gonna go and when this is the kind of support you're finding you find it's just easier to not say anything someone can understand what your condition entails academically they can experience a similar condition themselves that doesn't mean that they're a person who's well situated to help you through that circumstance. It doesn't mean that they're ready to have you actually reach out to them. It doesn't mean that they're going to be able to relate or handle it. Now in most cases that's not going to be anyone's fault. It's not your fault period that you have these issues. You didn't ask for them, you didn't seek a way to develop them, they came unbidden. So do not ever feel that you're responsible for how you feel. You're responsible for how you act, absolutely. And though feelings will influence that, actions are decision. Now in some cases, the person may ask how you are and not respond well. And that's not necessarily their fault because they may not be knowledgeable enough to feel comfortable discussing it they themselves may be in a bad place. But when it's someone who says that they want to help you with your issues, that they have an idea or some kind of understanding about your issues, and they're not doing anything to prove that, that's someone you just need to not try and reach out to. That one is their fault. If it's someone who reacts in turning it around and saying, well, this is how your negative experience is making my situation worse. That is absolutely someone who may be rather abusive. Now, they may not mean to be. This may not be any sort of thought or intention. Most likely, it's a case of they've been taught to focus so inwardly when it comes to their own personal life that they don't know how to respond when it's somebody else's circumstances in such a similar capacity. The one who responded that way to me was a significant other who actually works in the mental health field. So I expect that her reaction comes from A. Not feeling her own experiences were met appropriately from others, given the nature of her mental illness and B, the fact that she deals with that all day, every day for a living. And that became very problematic to me because she kept trying to tell me that she wanted me to tell her when I was having problems. She wanted to try and help me through them. But it just, time and again, became obvious that, no, you can't open up. The kind who will tell you that you are focusing on it too much, or that this is a repeat Thing and you don't understand they don't understand why it's always about that 
are the kind who are just incredibly ignorant. And I don't mean that in a way of being rude or anything like that. They just do not know. They are presently incapable of understanding with their current knowledge base. And you're probably not going to be the one who's best suited to teach them, unfortunately. Now, I myself can't recommend any good resources to say to a loved one, hey, here's where you can get an understanding of what I'm going through and what I need from you. If somebody has anything like that, I would love for you to post it down below in the comment. This isn't a matter of they don't care, and this one is definitely not a matter of it's their fault. You can't correct an ignorance that you don't know exists. Getting this from a number of people in my life in various roles has invariably led to me just not trying to talk to others about this, to not reach out, to no longer try and explain myself. And I keep looking to try, and I keep being disappointed. And there are times where I look to try and don't actually get an opportunity. My last relationship, as I said, ended because I was in a downswing which took all my effort just to endure. And the day we broke up is the day that I felt a lot better before that happened. She called me and said she wanted to talk about the week we had, and I went into it thinking, okay, I'm going to be able to explain this, I'm going to be able to discuss what we need to do to make this better, and I can start looking to other issues we've been having. And this significant other was also someone who experienced mental illness issues. But she seemed to think, because I had powered through my downswing for so long, that couldn't be that big of a deal. And so when I did finally crash, there just must be something wrong with the way that I'm treating our relationship. And that one, I am going to chalk up to her fault. That might sound like me being vindictive or trying to put the blame of the relationship ending on her. There were issues. Some of them were a fair bit standing, but when you go through, uh, through about three months at a time of various prevailing mood states, things can build up. And given that, even during those times, I was still there supporting her, helping her let it out, giving her guidance, I feel that I was given no opportunity for anything that would help me and for anything that would help us be successful. To everyone out there who might have gone through similar things where you reach out and others can't accommodate, Remember that it's not your fault at any point. You can only try so much. Others need to be willing to learn, to listen, to let you vent sometimes, to let you just be sometimes. Just always remember that. And with that in mind, take care of yourselves and each other, and I will talk to you tomorrow.